What's going on guys and welcome to another Minecraft mod showcase where today I'm taking a look at the YouTuber blocks mod. This mod adds in all kinds of blocks with your favourite YouTubers faces on them and they give you all kinds of buffs, debuffs, um, all kinds of really cool effects that you probably would perhaps associate with your favourite YouTubers. Uh, if you want to see this in Crazy Craft because a lot of the guys that are actually here do play on the server with us and also just play Crazy Craft because they enjoy it. Um, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Let's try and hit 3,000 likes and we'll put it in Crazy Craft. What it reminds me of a little bit is of beacons. Um, how you put the emerald blocks or whatever blocks down and it gives you effects. Now I probably just ran across there and I've got invisibility. So the way these work is you actually step on top of the block and it will give you a buff. Um, so it won't give you the buff if you're just in the vicinity because I would obviously have a million buffs right now. You actually have to step on top. So I've lined every single block that we have here up and me and Cody right at the top, I'll save us for last because we've actually got two buffs which is pretty fancy. And down at the bottom, I've got some of my personal favourite YouTubers and good friends. Um, so there's a couple of people missing and if you do actually see that your favourite YouTuber is missing or someone that you watch is missing, be sure to go to the link in the description to the forum post where you can tell the modder which YouTuber is actually missing and which effect you should probably think it would get. So I'm just going to go through how you craft these blocks and first you need to get a YouTuber ore and once you've mined that up you'll need to smelt it. It's this very funky looking red block and once you smelt it put it in here using coal you will get some of these YouTuber essences and once you have the YouTuber essences each block will have a different piece in the middle so for Barker's block you will have a piece of wool any color piece of wool because he's very fluffy obviously he's gonna need something very soft and then you just put the piece of wool in the middle there just put Barker's in there um, so I'm gonna go over each one at the bottom here but my favorite ones because there's too many to go over and then me and Cody um, finally first we have popular MMOs and to craft him you're going to need a block of diamonds so that is wow that is an expensive one that's probably the most expensive there is and once you step on him you get regeneration 2 for 30 seconds and as you go back on it'll reset so that's actually pretty cool if you've got a horde of zombies coming towards your house that is going to help you a lot now next we have of course Skyder's Minecraft and you'll need a block of gold who'd have thought it so if I hop up onto Sky, you will give me speed 3 for 30 seconds, which is also a very nice buff. Um, slightly expensive with the gold block though. Then we have Honeydew, um, Simon, and of course, a Jaffa Cake is required. And once you step on Simon, you will get Haste 4, which is, that's pretty cool. Haste, very, very nice. So I've got speed and haste. The speed obviously just carrying over from Sky. Next we have Dan TDM, a fellow Brit, and he... Obviously, he's going to need a minecart, as he is the diamond minecart. It's obviously going to be a diamond or a minecart, and they went with minecart. So if I hop on, see what it gives me. He gives me haste too. So both him and Honeydew will give you haste. So next we have the sparkles himself, Captain Sprinkles, and of course, he needs something sparkly. It will be another star in the center, and once I hop on top of Captain Sparkles, it will give me instant health. There's not actually an um, icon for this one. So instant health from the sparkles, I guess maybe perhaps because he's a bit of, he's becoming a bit of a Hunger Games god, which is uh, quite impressive. Um, as you saw, Baka was a piece of wool of any color. So if I hop on top of Jerome's head, he'll give me slowness, um, but strength four. So slowness three, which is really slow. Um, it's becoming night. I think it might be raining. It's raining elsewhere. And I'm super slow, but I'm super strong. So a bit like a Wookiee. I guess Wookiees are kind of slow. Uh, next we have Mitch, so a Bayesian Canadian, and you need a bow because he is a bit of a arching pro. Let me get some milk to get all these buffs off of me. Get off of me. All right, so hop on top of Mitch, and <laughs> it will give you Saturation 3. So that's quite nice. For the Hunger Games, obviously, Mitch needs a bit of Saturation. Um, let's actually take the rain off. It's kind of depressing. So. We're hopping on top of a lot of guys' heads here. It's kind of awkward, but we're going to keep going with it. Next, we have Sunday's block, and he uses a iron sword. And once you hop on top of him, he will give you fire resistance 3. So that's quite nice. Most of these last about 30 seconds. Some of the aqua affinity ones 
will actually last a little longer. So next we have Stampy, and to craft Stampy's block, you're going to need a <laughs> a bucket of milk, obviously, because he's a cat and he likes his milk. And once I jump, let's drink my milk first, and then jump on top of Stampy, and he will give you poison too. Wow. The modder obviously was not a big fan of Stampy because it gives you poison, so that's probably not one you want to craft. It's very cheap to craft, though, although these ores are not that common. So next we have a golden solaces block, and you need one gold ingot for his block, and he will give you invisibility for 30 seconds. Now that's a very cool one. That is actually a really cool block. So next we have Iballistic Squid, and to craft his block you're going to need an ink sack, obviously, being a squid. Uh, I need to get some milk again. Let's get all my debuffs off just to make sure I am uh, in knowledge of what I'm getting. So I jump on top of the squid. Is he going to give me anything? Water breathing for a minute. Water breathing for, for 60 seconds. So that one's really cool. Now I'm just going to cover a couple more. Just pick them randomly through. So we've got Basher. Obviously a slice of melon. So if I jump on top of Basher, he will give you anything? Anything, Basher? Okay, 30 seconds of jump boost. Wow. That is a big jump boost. Um, so who else have we got here? We have Deadlocks, and to craft Deadlocks' block, you'll need a bone. And once you jump on his head, he will give you instant damage for instant damage four. That one's pretty cool. Who else have we got here? We've got Chimney Swift. To craft his block, you're going to need some bricks. Uh, I'm not really sure why, but he will give you. Hang on, I'm not sure. <laughs> Let me drink my milk. What are you giving me, Chim? Hunger three. Um, is this instant damage just still? Or is he giving me instant damage? Okay. What? Jim, what are you doing? What is even happening? Okay, he gives me fire resistance 3. That was really strange. I think it's because there's so many blocks in the close vicinity. I'm probably stepping on more than one. Um, so we got Bebop Vox as well. And he will require one diamond. And if I stand on him... Oh my gosh. What the hell happened? Um... I have blindness and night vision. Uh, I think that might be a problem. That, yeah, whoa. Um, okay. <laughs> that is not normal. We're going to get rid of that. Bebop Vox is dangerous. Um, does it happen every time? Okay. Good stuff. <laughs> Good stuff. Finally, the penguin and the chicken. I think Cody's block is a little bit dippy. Um, Cody's eyebrows look pretty good, though. Got a bit of an arch in one. And I have... I'm not really sure what that is. Um, I have circular eyes and... Hmm. It looks like I'm pouting a little bit. Alright, we got. let's get rid of all my buffs and jump on top. So three sides have me and three have Cody. And what do we get? Let's grab this block and put it somewhere else. So we actually know what we're getting. Jump on. And we get night vision and water breathing four. So that's for 30 seconds. Both for 30 seconds. Because there's two of us, you get two buffs, which is... I like that, it's two good buffs. So if you do want to see more of your favourite YouTubers in this mod, make sure you go to the forum post. And if you want to see this in crazy craft, make sure you hit that thumbs up, let's try and hit 3000 likes. And as always, thanks for watching.